Hey guys, <laughs> it's Mike D57S here, and I've decided that while I got the chance, I'll just do another character profile, especially on a character who I think it's time I get over with, because I easily forget this character from time to time. Not because I dislike her, but it's just because I take everything else for granted, you know, because with the other engines... And don't worry, I, I'm not one of those, you know, geeks who take things for fan service these days, like many people do with Doc, Donald, Douglas, Oliver, you, you get the point. But, <laughs> yep, this next character is another one you would know, I mean, and that, of course, is another Rolling Stock character. And this is none other than Henrietta, the coach of Toby the Tram Engine. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, like... Of course, we all know that Annie and Clarabelle are popular as they're the coaches for Thomas. Though, does anyone stop to think about Henrietta? Well, only on some occasions. But now, I do. I mean, especially since now I'm going to be talking about her. So, why not do it while I got the chance? You know what I mean? <laughs> Besides, I mean, like I have done a character profile on Toby. So, it would make sense to just do Henrietta while I got the chance now. Okay. Um, I'll do the best I can for her, though. Okay, so, yes. Henrietta, of course, as I mentioned, has been Toby's coach ever since he worked on the tramway in East Anglia. However, due to, you know, the economy changing and such, with all these new road vehicles like buses and lorries, like, like I mentioned, you know, back in the Toby episode, like, that all started to change, and to- and- like, while well, Toby, of course, was feeling bad, uh, sorry, was sad at the fact that nobody wanted, you know, to work in him, Henry, uh, sorry, wanted, you know, uh, sorry, why, you know, that no one had any jobs for him, but Henrietta was also upset because, you know, that when she was a coach, excuse me for a second, yeah, that she never had that much passengers riding in her these days, and this really upset her, and... Now, Henrietta, I must also, you know, mention, she is based off of a Great Eastern Railway's Wisbeck and Upwell passenger coach that was used on, you know, these kind of tramways. I mean, yeah, I don't, re I never really knew that much about these kind of coaches. But one thing's certain that, yeah, Henrietta, excuse me, Henrietta is based off of one of those old, you know, tramway coaches. Which would make sense. I mean, definitely one of those Victorian styles, as it says that she was built in 1884. So, when, like, of course, you know, Toby and Henry's, excuse me, Toby and Henrietta's life would change forever, which was, you know, on the day when the first, you know, fat controller, the fat director, as well as his wife and his grandchildren, Bridget, and of course the, you know, future fat controller, Stephen Topham Hat the third, you know, were taking a holiday, a vacation, all the way to their old railway in East Anglia, and Henrietta, of course, you know, was, you know, overjoyed, you know, the fact that she had people riding in her again, and when, of course, their old railway was going to close, Toby was going to be sheeted up in his shed, while Henrietta, well, let's just say that the station master on his old tramway Thought just he saw better use in Henrietta by making her into a hen house, and both the Toby and the Fat Controller agreed that that was just really you know unacceptable. It just would never do. So yeah, that all changed you know when the Fat Controller you know sorry or the Fat Director, you know wrote the letter to Toby Superintendent saying they needed help after Thomas got in trouble with the you know with the police officer after going over the crossing, which was, of course, you know, abided by the law that says that he's not supposed to cross over, well, the crossing only unless he has cow catchers and side plates. And that's what, how Toby came into the picture, as well as Henrietta, as the workmen who need to get to the quarry usually ride in. Alright, I just was worried someone might come down, but yeah. So yeah, the workmen are usually... They'd ride in, like, Henrietta herself, like, mostly to get to work. So, yes, um, so mostly, like, well, as I said, like, Henrietta would usually appear 
whenever Toby would as, like I said, like she's the coach that usually Toby would pull as. Like these two have been together for quite a while. Uh, you know, it's just the same as how Thomas would take Annie and Clarabelle, and Oliver would take Toad, even though Toad would be given to Douglas, but, yeah. So, Henrietta, like, um, yeah, like, that's just a thing. You know, back in the classic series, and, you know, in the, even a few episodes, like, they just mentioned how she would feel and such, like, she never exactly, like, talked back then. Like, she was always very silent. Though. And, of course, like, not to mention, she never really had a face back then, either. But, thankfully, that all changed. I mean, this, of course, you know, like, happened. Well, in the Railway series, Henrietta did have a face, which, of course, was, you know... It was, you know, moles and white on her door, though the only difference was that, like, you know, with Annie and Clarabelle, her face was really more of, well, you know, just, well, it was, the eyes and the mouth were, you know, they were on the wood, but and now that she came back in the CGI series, which, well, more of a reintroduction, in season 18, like, when she came into the CGI series, like, she actually was given an actual face, and she talked. I mean, though, I can understand most of us would have been... Humidifier. Most of us would have been mixed at the time, you know, that Henrietta, you know, did have a face, especially a molded one. I mean, because, like... I mean, Head Entertainment, I'm pretty sure, would have been scared of terrifying kids, you know, because... Well, I mean, if there's no face, you know, on the engine, if, like, it's just... And many of the kids, even I myself, even I as a child would wonder why Henrietta never really talked that much and why she doesn't really have a face. It's like, is she lifeless? But no, she's not. She does, you know, have a personality and such. And Henrietta, like, like in the CGI series, like, I could remember her fondly. Like, most of her appearances were just, you know, like, cameos and non-speaking roles. That was it. Like, nothing was written for her. But when season 18 came around, that all changed. Like, seriously. That all changed, you know, because the first time I saw this was in Thomas the Quarry Engine, which you guys remember me reviewing at the time, and I was quite mixed. I, I can't remember exactly what I said. It's been a while, and it's also been a while since I've watched a plenty of my older videos. Then again, they're not in the best quality, I know. But... I don't know. I mean, the face isn't too bad. I mean, it's not... I don't think it's too ugly or anything. In fact, it's actually quite suiting, though. Um, yeah, I mean, if I gave Henrietta a face, I don't know. I was thinking, why not put it on her gate right here? Like, right over here. Like, you know, kind of like they did with Toad or any of the break fan or the spiteful break fan, and even Bradford as, yeah, I actually saw that episode. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll talk about it sometime, but yeah, like, why not do that? Uh, oh well. So, yes, um, Henrietta, like, like, I also think that her voice, like, is very soothing as well. Like, the person who voiced her is Maggie Olerenshaw. And Maggie only was the voice of just... Yeah, like, Henrietta was the only voice that Maggie herself ever did. That was it. But I do think that she did a good job, as she's definitely that kind of age to actually voice her. So I think they made a good choice in picking her to do the voice for Henrietta. And I don't know, I mean, maybe a few other old voices. I, I, was, I did say Elizabeth, but hell, if Caroline ever appeared again... Hey, I think Maggie Olerenshaw can do a very good, you know, voice for Caroline, maybe. But we won't. I don't know. I mean, I have no idea if Caroline will ever return. But hey, it will be kind of fun, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, they'd have to. I mean, she probably might have, like, the same sort of personality as, say, Dowager Hat, maybe. <laughs> Just saying. And now, as far as her personality goes... Now, Henrietta, of course, 
Well, it's obvious. You know, she's like Toby. You know, she's old, wise. Yeah, you pretty much get the idea. It's Though when, you know, season 18 came around, like, she also motivates Toby whenever, you know, he feels nervous or, you know, is always trying to remind him. And I do love, you know, how Toby and Henrietta have more of a, you know, like this, well, husband and wife kind of personality. Especially watching, you know, the truth about Toby where he's like, and I'll be Toby, oh, get off my back, woman. I already know. Oh, come on, Toby. I Don't be such a nag, Henrietta. <laughs> So, yeah, <laughs> I actually, I mean, and I even watched um, Toby's new friend, uh, yeah, where they did motivate Toby's personality there, but, oh boy, oh, I'm sorry, where they do motivate Henrietta, like, you know, who motivates Toby, but, oh boy. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say the name, because it's just, you know, I don't like this certain character, but... If I do decide to review it, then I guess I would. I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Yes. Now, um, as far as, like, merchandise, I'll just say this. I mean, Henrietta's been in, obviously, plenty of merchandise. Because, let's face it, I mean, Toby's one of the main characters. So, obviously... You really can't have Toby without Henrietta. Especially, like, you know, the way you can't have Thomas without Annie, Annie and Clarabelle. Thank God Bachman made a model of her. <laughs> Though, how did the fan-made series portray her? Well, I don't think about Tom, you know. But around the time, you know, when season 18, sorry, like, was out, many of us fans, of course, have gotten used to it. You know, the fact that Henrietta could speak more and that they've given her a face. Though, there is one fan production I know I've never really brought up yet on this channel, but I think now's a good time. And I did say it in, you know, the description of my Toby profile episode, but now it's better late than never, because I even plan on doing a future review of it, too. Yes, that's right. It's Tobias and the Half Pariah. Yeah. It's surprising, because this is the first time I'm ever talking about this. Never thought I'd talk about this? Well, think again. You can read my, you know, opinions about it in, you know, my Toby profile. But, um, I do plan soon, probably later this month, I don't know, to maybe, to, like, do an actual, like, review on said movie. Yeah, because I think, you know, I definitely should. I mean, I should definitely give my thoughts on, on this. I mean, <laughs> but yeah, I really do like how they made Henrietta... Well, Henrietta's actually, since this is an alternate take on the Thomas universe and such, Henrietta has more of a different personality. She's a lot more sassier, but still is more motivating to Toby and, like, always, you know, tries to convince him to do the right thing. She's pretty much the voice of reason for him. Eh, uh, yeah, even though she can get a bit carried away with that. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, don't worry, I promise I'll definitely do a Tobias and the Half Pixie Beat Pariah someday. Well, maybe later this month or something. I don't know. But, yeah, like, like, they really, like, Tyne Stennis gave Henrietta more of a prominent role. And, uh, alright, now that that's settled, I think, now that we have 13 minutes, I think that pretty much wraps this review up. So, yeah, I mean, I'm serious. Like, oh, well, maybe I could talk about this. One thing, you know, that the series never, you know, got was the fact that, like, well, you know... Well, that the that Toby would also have you know a other rolling stock to go along with him. Yeah, like it's not just Henrietta. Like there's also a coach known as Victoria and a brake fan named Elsie. I think. Yeah, like or luggage fan. Yeah, like Toby also has three more rolling stock. So yeah, it's Henrietta, Victoria, and Elsie. And oh my iPad. Yeah, like if you want, like I don't know. I mean. It's just, I never really think about, you know, using Victoria that much. Because, like, um, well, it's basically, it's this. Like, I never really, you know, eh, sorry. I never really, like, you know, actually, like, think of Toby with two coaches like Thomas. No, like, I kind of think of her, you know, well, with... 
Well, you know, with actual, like, with just one coach, which is Henrietta, because that's how we grew up with her. Uh, though, but don't get me wrong, I don't dislike Victoria or anything, or Elsie, but hey, it's totally fine. Oh yeah, Elsie's a luggage man, right. Uh -huh. So yeah, Toby had more rolling stock than you would ever think. So yeah, aside from all that, like, it's because the book itself, known as Thomas and Victoria, when it came out in 2007, like, well, I was never aware, but I guess many of you would pick up on this book. Uh, I don't know if I would, because... Uh, because I've grown up with Toby, with Henrietta. Like... But I guess in this episode, I could also, you know, state my thoughts on Victoria and Elsie. Though I'm not really sure about those two actually appearing in the series. You know, Victoria and Elsie. I mean, I'm pretty sure that... Well... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that... Like, because, you know, the book came out, you know, in 2007, and, well, I don't really think, you know, that they would appear in the series anytime sooner, because, and I'm pretty sure that most of the kids watching would probably be used to seeing more, you know, Toby and Henrietta and such, even though one of my complaints now is Toby barely appears in this series, and, easy, Mike, you could save the ranting for another time, but you get the point. All right, but I think that's Henrietta in a nutshell, because honestly, there's really not that much else to say this time, but yeah. So yeah, that covers Henrietta, so I'll see you guys later. This is Mike D57S signing off, and see you next time. Goodbye.